Hey, what's up everybody? Today's video is gonna have a couple of updates on the lawn and I'm gonna show you a new toy I got and how to use it when you're trimming some young fan palms. Stay and if you guys have not noticed yet, I do have some merchandise online. You can go to the link down below. I've got stickers, shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, even iPhone cases at my Teespring store. All right, so here is some of those clover and oxalis that um, was all over the place. Uh, a week ago, I sprayed with the Image Southern Lawn Weed Killer, and I think it's fair to say it decimated the weeds. I think it did a really good job. They're just dying or dead already. Worked within a week. Killed them. Here's one of those large sections of the vetch, or what I thought was vetch. It's just dying. If it's not already dead, it is on its way out. That's awesome. Awesome product. Highly recommend to use the image for Southern Lawns. If you have St. Augustine or centipede grass. So guys, this last week during spring break, I was able to get my computer built. Um, so I now have the ability to do much better editing and uh, control over what I'm doing with my videos. So I hope you guys are gonna like the new Don's Lawns videos that are coming out. They will have a little more pizzazz to them. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. They will have some music now. I've heard that that was one of my uh, downfalls in the early videos was there was no music. So I'm gonna have some music now in some of my videos now that I have the ability to do that. This is a Mexican fan palm. The wind will kind of blow their blades and it'll they'll split. Um, and then as they grow, they grow from the inside outward. So we've got fresh new growth coming up inside. Old growth on the outside. So you want to trim starting here at the oldest growth basically where it's brown once it starts to turn brown and the leaves are starting to the tips are turning brown they're starting to decay basically or you know die off on their own that's when it's time to go ahead and trim and i'll usually trim off some of this older already brown pieces as well like this piece and this piece i'll trim those up a little bit as well while i'm doing this but you want to start off with the these older ones that are basically almost parallel to the ground. Those are the ones that you want to trim. These I got at the Sutherlands here in Corpus Christi. Awesome pair. It's got a sturdy spring, really strong, sharp, sharp as I'll get out. Nice rubber handle. Um, they're here in Sutherland, at the Sutherlands in uh, Corpus Christi, about $10. So I just finished trimming up this palm for the spring. Give her a good little trim. 
I didn't cut a whole bunch off, just like I said in my previous shot. Just any of the limbs that were already going parallel to the ground or already getting brown. Hey puppy. Hey puppy, hey. Hey. This is Luna. She likes to supervise out here. Ah, and that's Bandit. He's not much help. But yeah, so you just trim up anything that was going parallel or lower. You wanna to try to get a nice clean cut. And then I trimmed up some of the old pieces as well here. They were old, trim those off. So it's just cleaned up, looks a lot neater. Gives it a nice style. And it's young, so you don't, really doing any harm you don't hurt it all you're really doing is promoting more growth in a healthy way